installed launch is great now. Normally like the gates you see the pretty oh, so fast. It's the next day and it's already like that. Our new gate is done. But oh, we don't have the lock. Yet. Uh, they'll be coming by on Thursday morning to set this to, to do our lock for us. So in the meantime we'll have no lock on our gate. But it's okay because we already have our door lock. Uh yeah. So messy. Um I need to put this back later on after I clean up this area outside here. <sighs> okay. Back to work. Having lunch now. We got our gas done and then we got our TV installed. Lunch is great now. Yay! First proper home cooked meal. Yum. I think we put a bit too much meat. Oh well. New door is installed. Easier. Nick is trying his fingerprint that is apparently not working. Amy cut, I don't try it. <laughs> oh, press the remote, press the remote. Okay. Something wrong with you. Something wrong with you. So apparently our RFID card for the door lock here can be paired with the gate one. So it's actually pretty handy, you just bring one around, I think. So the one that they give can also be paired with the door lock. So that means we have five RFID cards. Then this is the remote that to open and lock the door. Um, probably just stick it here or something. Anyway, for our, door, our gate design, you can't really access, like your hand can't really come in to access this. Broken. I thought okay, my index finger just came out. Clean your index finger. My index finger is clean. Too oily. <laughs> Normally, like the gates you see, the pre older models, they always have this black box around the back because it's a door lock they use for the gate. So the back actually has all the like access points that you can unlock directly from the back. So for older gates, they will have you need to block, box it up so that uh, you can't just like go in, reach in from the gate and then unlock the door. The guy pasted this sticker because he said if any problem just call 24-7 hotline. They have people on standby. Yeah, and this lock is made in Korea. Focus, hello. Lock is made in Korea. Looks good. Wonky fingerprint person. Wait, it's a Singapore company. Yeah, it's a Singapore company. Okay, lock. Hmm, man, no problem. You have so many problems. Currently oiling all the wooden boards for sealant. Also got a new chopping board from Zhang Xiaoquan. And also a new knife. <laughs> and this was a mistake. I bought I wanted to buy a chopping board from IKEA, like the big one. But it went out of stock. Then I thought this was the same size, but no, it's tiny. It is the size of this. Also, our knife rack currently looks like this. Because we wanted to uh, mount it, but the IKEA one needs screws to be drilled in. Then we don't want to have such a big commitment. So we bought a new one which only requires sticking and it's on the way so in the meantime our knives are dangerous. And this was the new knife that I bought together with the chopping board. Because the knife we have right now is a little bit too big. It's a 3 piece set and this is the smallest one. So the other two are here. Which 
uh, way too big and I don't really want to open them until we can have a proper knife uh, rack. And Nick wants the magnetic one because it looks cool and it's going to be right here because it's our prep area. Got this from Taobao as well. This one was just a uh, ad hoc in the meantime that I just got from downstairs for like 150 which is good enough. I was watching this YouTube channel, the Korean YouTube channel, and she grew her own mushrooms from a kit. Then I was telling Nick like, hey, it's pretty cool, we should try some, if we can find one locally. And just nice, our neighbor has this, uh, she, she, she bought it before, so she was opening up like a, a mini group buy. And then I just bought one to try. So these are oyster mushrooms, and this is uh, local, so pretty cool. This is the golden one. The pink one is really pretty. If they have one for the Sing Pao Gu, which is the abalone mushroom or king oyster, I'll get that. I'm actually planning to do... Uh, I'm trying to get this and then dehydrate them into like mushroom chips because we bought a dehydrator so that'd be pretty cool. Got the idea from one of the group buys where they are selling oyster mushroom chips. So yeah, I'm gonna try that. It says to place the mushroom farmer kit near a window but away from direct sunlight and water three to four times daily. Mm, from what I saw the neighbor's one is really pretty big and fast. So let's hope this would come out well. Don't have a window that has like good sunlight so it's out in the balcony just found the shadiest area for it let's see in the meantime this is what I have right now my cactus that my friend gave me my mom passed me some Thai basil and the uh, very super long money plant that my friend gave me that is still surviving Today's dinner. Okay, I want to. I want to do the. I want to do like filming of the cooking part, but we have no tripod, so it's on the way. We'll have those vlogs soon. We changed our toilet uh, windows. It was a very last minute decision because beetles kept flying in. So I want to put the insect mesh, which is like here. Uh, but we couldn't do that with the louvered windows because the handle was here and it the mesh has to go over the handle which means that we can't open it super wide which kind of defeats the purpose of the whole window so with this one at least we can open the window and just put the mesh and just leave it to ventilate yeah but that uh, made our toilet very dirty because yeah it's, there's some drilling and hacking going on so we need to clean the toilet but I haven't bought a toilet, like scrubbing brush. So yeah. Next up is to do the mesh. I'm roasting some vegetables. First time. I don't know if it's gonna turn out well. I'm just winging it. <coughs> and yeah. Let's see if it turns out well. <laughs> What's left of the roasted vegetables? I gave my neighbor a big bunch and she said they demolished it really fast. Picture here. Woohoo! Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this next time. But um, when there's more people around. This one for four people is way too much. Yay! Planning to do the insect mesh for the windows today. So this is what came in the kit, which is a uh, scissors, super glue. Pen knife, uh, measuring tape, one set of mesh, and two sets because I bought two. This is the smallest size they have, which is 70 by 70, but I think that's way too big for our windows. But, well, whatever. We can have extra magnets, I guess. Thank you. 
I created a little ouch, a little one. A little one of these magnetic things for this floor trap. Because it's open uh, for the dishwasher drainage. And I don't want to put this because uh, I read a post that it will turn moldy. So did this with the leftover mesh. But we don't have the L-shaped connectors anymore, so I'm just using like the metal plastic strips. But it's a bit sharp, so I'm gonna trim the sides. But yeah. At least you can ventilate and you won't have to deal with crawlies. Please be smarter and remove your stickers when they are early on in the reno process. Otherwise you will be like us. Uh, but before that, take a picture of where the lines run and then just remove the stickers because otherwise they, they leave like a yellowish strip when you remove them. Then it's super difficult to clean. Uh, Okay, turn on the white light. Can you see? Turn on the uh, yellow. Off. I don't know if you can see it. This strip here. Yeah, it's super sticky and very difficult to clean. And it's very difficult to clean now because we also had this thing in the way. The mushroom is sprouting. It was originally in too bright of an area, so I swapped it to this corner that it's not facing the sun. So it's starting to sprout, finally. Also added some new decorations. Just a few hours later, they are already this big. Oh wait. I think, oh, wow. I wonder what happened tomorrow morning. I just give them some water. I think they'll be ready for harvest like pretty soon. Tomorrow maybe? It's the next morning and it's this already. So not super big yet, not ready for harvest but it's quite amazing. I think it would be great to do a time lapse for this but I don't really know how. Because uh, the camera will run out of battery and also run out of space. But hmm, I might try to figure out the way because I bought two more kits. <laughs> The mushrooms are growing at an astonishing rate. Pretty cool. Apparently you can actually grow it one more time after you harvest it. One well, of the neighbors just reported that they actually managed to do it. So looking forward. In the meantime, we went down to buy some plants. So Nick really likes these kind of uh carnivorous plants. So like these are one of the pitcher breeds. Yeah. They actually have Venus flytrap, which is the one he really likes, but the the stock that they have now doesn't look very good. So we just got this one instead. Then I bought a mint and what's this? A uh, ZZ plant or ZZ plant. ZZ bar gem, basically. Yeah, I need to put them in their place now. This is the current setup. So my cactus. The pitcher plant, the uh, Thai basil that my mom gave to me, the money plant that my friend gave to me, this is the Z plant, and this is mint. I wanted to put them there, but the uh, shoe racks, I think this is supposed to be a shoe rack, so the height difference is a little bit too short, so and they're too tall, so I might need to get a better rack. Hmm, maybe one from IKEA. Uh, also created a vinegar spray here and add the citronella in to sort of keep away spiders and other insects because I found them hanging around here like in that corner over there probably the bunnies were housing them or something but after spraying they kind of went crazy and ran away yeah so they grow so fast it's the next day and it's already like that mm -hmm. 
trying to make some dehydrated mushroom chips. Um, first time trying, if it's good, I'll do a recipe up for you guys or something. I'm just gonna try it out now. This is just buttered mushrooms. I'm growing the oyster mushrooms to make chips as well. Mm. Hopefully this turn out good. It's set at 60 degrees for 4 hours according to some recipe I found online. But the flavouring I just kind of mixed it up myself. My dehydrated mushroom chips. You can hear that it's slightly crispy but I think I put a little bit too much oil and a little bit too much salt or I didn't toss it properly. Yeah, but the bigger pieces are like still a bit spongy like mushroom and so not really chips chips. Maybe I can put for put it for a longer time. But actually it's pretty tasty. Yeah. I think the these mushrooms are almost ready to be harvested. They're like huge now. So next round will be these guys. Just received this 12 pack of diffusers, so apparently it was $66 uh, for all these, but you just get a random amount from each of these 4 cents. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oh, 5, 5 cents. So lavender, lemon and citronella, sakura, white freesia, and lily and jasmine. So it's just a random amount. And I'm okay with all these scents, so I'm okay with just getting it. Uh, yeah, I just want to put it in like the toilets and stuff like that. It's a pretty small bottle, but $66 divided by 12 is about 5 something per bottle, which is pretty cheap, so you can try. I'll leave a link in the description below. Got this little good lobang from one of the friends I made from Instagram. I'll link them below to give them a follow. Starting to turn the the what we call this freely, <laughs> like we be at the size already, and it's getting quite big. And I also found like some smaller ones inside that's growing. Ooh, I think we can harvest this soon. Probably just give it like one more day. I harvested my mushrooms, but it looks like they kind of died. They shriveled up. I don't know. Hmm. They just started shriveling up like just now. Midday. I went to spritz more water but I didn't think it, I don't think it helped. Oh well. I'll wash them and try to like prepare them I guess for the drying. Batch two with my shriveled up oyster mushrooms. I just cleaned up and threw away the more shriveled up ones. Hopefully this time around will be better. I lessen the oil and lessen the salt. Hmm. And also increase the timer. So it was previously at 4 hours, now it's at 6. Hmm. I think they shrivel up because they're like past the prime time of harvesting. I don't know. Actually, I don't know when to harvest. We actually went for a vaccine yesterday but forgot to bring the camera along so we only have two shots which is one of our BK meal <laughs> and the other one of my vaccine pamphlet thing 
we got the SMS to book the appointment on the 22nd, which is the day before. And we were deciding whether we want to go between Moderna or Pfizer. Uh, the Moderna one, the earliest appointment was yesterday, but Pfizer took like up till 22nd July. Yeah, so we just did some research on between the two and... Okay. Yeah, it's basically similar side effects. The only difference is that uh, for Pfizer, they they did some, they, they have a report on the new variants. Um, so we thought it's it's quite similar in any case. So we, we just decided to go for Moderna. Yeah, just like get it over and done with. Yeah, it's better to go for one yeah. than like to drag wait. It out. Yeah, yeah, than to drag and wait for stuff like that. Yeah, so we took the Moderna yesterday. It was a pretty quick appointment. Like, we just uh, booked the time slot, we just went in and do registration immediately and then they just like, okay, uh, please go to this booth number and then jam. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, oh, please sit here. And then they will call your name when it's done after the 30 minutes and then they will do uh, all the like debrief in a sense. Mm. They will just tell you what, uh, no alcohol and no strenuous exercise and then they give you some care package. Yeah, so we got a hand sanitizer, 500 and 700, 500. 700 ml. So much, right? Yeah. So we got hand sanitizer, uh, whatever ml, and a box of masks. Yeah, so we have two boxes of masks and two bottles of hand sanitizers. But apparently not all the vaccination centers will give you this thing. Because like, uh, some places they only give you like one piece of mask. And no one, no, yeah. one piece. Yeah, she's going, oops. Like one piece of mask, no hand sanitizer, and then uh, like some other places give you like nothing. Maybe one bottle of water. But I think this is like secondary. Yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. not important anyway. Like we probably, most of us have the mask and hand sanitizer yeah. anyway. Oh yeah, so any side effects? Not really. We took the 8pm appointment. So when we were done, it's probably like 8.30ish. But we uh, went in like 10 minutes earlier. So we came out 10 minutes earlier. But no... Uh, no major side effects yet. So yeah. it's just like small tingling sensation really no it's just like small aching pain i think the... as in so like he got the aching pain in the arm last night but i didn't get any uh like i could still raise my arm and everything like it's not it's not very bad yeah like, it's, the, it's not the, the flu jab the, yeah. the flu shot i don't know i, huh? so I can't remember it's shot. not as bad because like for me i remember the flu shot was a bit more sore then uh it was a very quick process but I, that, I think that's due to whoever is jabbing you. Uh, the guy was pretty quick, he did it really fast and like there was no pain and I'm afraid of needles so I didn't feel the prick. I, 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 you can feel it go in but it's not as like painful as some of the other shots that I've taken. A tip is to bring a bag to contain all your care packages stuff and also a jacket because it's insanely cold inside and you do not want to be shivering for 30 minutes like me. <laughs> it was not fun. It was okay for me. Uh, it was very cold. No, then I was sitting at the location where the aircon was blowing directly at you. Oh. And I was like, oh, this is bad. Then, uh, yeah, so that's some tips. Uh, so now it's one day after the, the shot. Then I only have like a slight swelling at the, the jab area. Uh, and my arm is a little sore, oh, but that's about it. Like, there's no hmm. major side effects. No, but no like headache, fever, no runny nose. But most of the side now. effects is going to come on after the second shot. Yeah, but as in some people get it on the first oh. shot also. Like yeah. first shot, next day maybe not feeling well, like feverish or like lethargic generally. Yeah, so we also bought like Panadol for just in extra case. precaution. Yeah, just in case. But it's a good thing to have around the house anyway. So yeah, because we don't have Panadol. Yeah. So we just bought that. Yeah, that's about it. Anything else to add? No, so... <laughs> I don't know. I, I, nothing much. Okay. So please get your vaccination done. Uh, ASAP, whatever brand. Yeah, actually, it does, I, don't, I don't see why people are so against Moderna. Like, I feel it's about the same. I think it's because of the branding. Yeah. I, I don't know. As in, yeah, maybe the branding. Because maybe like Pfizer is more established. Or the first approved one yeah but now it's called like community or so yeah they, they changed their name yeah. so whatever so 
but they basically just get the vaccine done so you protect yourself you protect other people as well I mean it doesn't necessarily protect against the newer strains which is not surprising because they are new and at the point of developing these vaccines those strains weren't available yet so even though they you still might get COVID but you get the different you, you protect yourself against the original few strains so it's better than nothing yeah let me finish my Ota goodbye Kitchen Aid is here. Exciting. You got it because it was on flash sale, right? Yeah. On Shopee? Yeah, Shopee flash sale. So it's like 549. Yes. And we get to choose the colour this time. Previously we had a we had a what's that? Paradise one. Oh yeah. The Harvey Norman had a sale not sale. I think it's a sale, discount offer that uh, they have this colour called Birds of Paradise which is a very coral pink and it came with like some attachments very orangey pink yeah orange. like coral colour yeah but then uh, in the end we decided to give that up because we felt like the colour didn't really match the aesthetics of our place yeah it was also for a 549 so we only basically lost the attachments but we get to choose the colour this time so it's pretty good should I just yeah he said just take it. no take from here the two, the two sides yeah Black. Yay. We get to match everything in. Oh, it's, it's damaged, but whatever. Lah. Uh, we get to match everything else that's already there, which is mostly black and white. So, yes. I need a better space for unboxing instead of on the floor. But, anyways, this is what's in the box. Yeah. All the different mixer attachments. Oh, we can even get. Fancy bowls, cool. Yeah, this was another colour I would have liked to get. And then I saw they have a matte dusty rose or something like that. Super pretty, but it's a thousand plus dollars, never mind, never mind. So you get these two. Doho and the pedal. I did not expect them to be metal, because the white colour makes it look like it's plastic. But yeah. 4.8 meters stainless steel. Artisan series. It's the same one as Belinda, but just that hers is almond cream. So apparently, everything here is dishwasher safe except the whisk, which is made of, I think, aluminium. So apparently, I've read online that you can actually buy the stainless steel whisk, so that one can go in the dishwasher. Yeah, stainless steel accessories. So if we buy the whisk, it works. Okay, so now that I've got this and an oven, I don't have a weighing scale, I don't have my baking stuff, they're all at my old place, and I also don't have flour. So, time to make a Poon Huat order. <laughs> so, with our aircon problem, this aircon would condense whenever we use any of the aircon. So, apparently, they said that the valve outside on the compressor. It's broken, like it doesn't close and open as it should. So everything that like passes through here, so basically any of the other units outside, which is the bedroom and the living room, if we turn it on, the cold gas will leak into this unit. But because it's not on, right, it will condense here. Yeah. So the 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 Yusin people they uh closed off the gas and get got MHI to come down to check it out. So they came down today and they did a very thorough check. And apparently the compressor is spoiled. <laughs> the compressor is spoiled. So we have to change our compressor. They'll be coming down on Tuesday. That's the earliest we could get. Uh, but right now we can only apparently use one aircon. And it's one of the room aircons. We can't use the living room one because the compressor can no longer support like the larger BTU, which is that one. So we can only use one of the rooms. And he totally removed the wire for this room, so we can't even turn it on now. Yeah. Sad aircon. Not sure what happened. Mm, the hypothesis was that it, the, uh, when we were installing the units, the, the circuit actually tripped. And that kind of caused some issue with the compressor. 
that was the hypothesis, but no one knows. And uh, as long as you're getting the problem fixed, it's all good. Hmm, this is making weird sounds like this. I'm not sure if it's normal. I know the clicking is because of the tiles, but uh, keep dragging. Yeah, it's, I hear that one. It's like dragging. I'm not sure if that's normal. Anyone who owns this care to elaborate fascinated boy with this new toy he's just stalking it wherever he goes <laughs> but that sound is most definitely not normal Oh, I don't know. 